So a lot of people have been asking me how to set up Windows mouse keys to work nicely with RuneScape. So I figured I would make a video to hopefully help some of you guys out with that. A lot of people use mouse keys to uh, make it so they can use their keyboard to move the mouse a certain number of pixels and make some skilling a bit faster or easier. And uh, it has been used in the game for quite a while, but recently there has been a uh, large increase in mouse keys users due to the ban of all AHK in any forms, because people used to use AHK to do the things that people do with, that are now, well, people are now sort of forced to do with mouse keys. Um, and mouse keys is kind of confusing to configure, and there's a lot of little issues you can run into because there's so many different uh, things that can go wrong with it. So I'm hopefully going to make things a little bit easier and make things clear in this video on how to set it up properly. So I'm using Windows 7, and I'm not really that familiar with other versions of Windows, but I do think that it, this is basically the same on any version of Windows, because Windows mouse keys has been the same for like as long as it's ever existed, so I think these settings should be exactly the same on other versions, uh, I hope so, but I don't really have another computer with other versions of Windows to test on, but what you want to do to initially set up mouse keys is go to your control panel and go to the ease of access center if you're on... Windows 7, and if you're on other versions of Windows, I mean, you can probably just go into your search bar and type in mouse keys and find it right here. So uh, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, just search your computer or go to the control panel, that kind of thing. You want to go to make the keyboard easier to use, this option right here, and then you'll see a checkbox for mouse keys, a checkbox for sticky keys, which is also important, and filter keys might be important for you as well. So the first thing you want to do is go into the mouse key setup uh, menu here and obviously you want to turn it on and just copy the settings I have right here These should work fine for you uh, the only things that actually really matter are the, the pointer speed here and this checkbox right here holding down control to speed up and shift to slow down um, this is by far the most important thing and then this slider is what you're going to use to adjust how far your mouse will go when you press certain keys um, so if once you've set this all up, just hit apply or hit OK or whatever, and uh, you should see a little mouse keys icon down in the taskbar if you have this checked, um, which is helpful, and you will be able to see that it's active. Um, and you'll also be able to see highlighted which uh, mouse button is being affected, or which mouse button it's is being outputted by mouse keys when you press a certain key. So when you have mouse keys active, it's remapping the keys on your number pad here. So all of these number keys and also the other keys have some functions to mouse actions so it's pretty intuitive the center key the five is a click whether it be right click left click or both depending on your setting and then all of the keys surrounding it are moving the mouse in that direction so now that i have mouse keys on i can show you if i press the two key then it moves the mouse down if i press the eight key it moves the mouse up six key right four key left and then the other ones are moving it in the diagonal corresponding directions so that's pretty intuitive, and then the 5 key will click, so I can press 5 and it'll open a new tab, 5 will close it. And you can press the keys up in the top right here, the slash, asterisk, and dash keys to switch between which mouse action it does. So you'll notice down on the taskbar, if I press the uh, asterisk key, that both of the mouse buttons will be highlighted, and that means that both of the mouse actions will occur when I press the 5 key, both right click and left click. And then if I press the dash key, it'll make it right click only, so... When I press 5, it will just right-click, and obviously, I mean, I'm using it for left-click, so I think that's probably the most useful for RuneScape, so make sure you press the slash key so that it's set to left-clicking. And uh, I think the plus key will double-click, and I don't, the other keys might be might do some things, I'm not even really sure, but that's all you really need to worry about for RuneScape. And uh, numlock will toggle it on and off, which is also useful, so if I press numlock, then they'll have a little X there, and the mouse keys won't be active. So that's all well and good, um, but you just being able to press a key and move your mouse a little bit isn't really that helpful but the important checkbox over here that we checked was holding down control to speed up so if i press the control key and press these buttons then it moves a certain number of pixels at a time i don't really want to chisel so that is that is quite helpful it makes it so you can press a key and it will move x number of pixels in a certain direction you can go diagonal up and down all that kind of stuff and it's pretty good um the downside of this is having to hold down control manually so the way to fix this is to set up another windows feature called uh hit okay here called uh sticky keys so sticky keys is the next thing you want to set up and just copy the same settings that i have here and they will work wonderfully 
The only thing that really matters here is the locking the modifier keys and actually having it turned on. Once you turn on sticky keys, you'll see a, another little thing pop up down in your taskbar tray, which is sticky keys. Um, another thing that's probably worth noting is that if you want to make, like, depending on how your taskbar tray is configured, it might these might not stay there permanently, and it probably is useful to be able to see the settings at all times. So if you go into customize, you can open this up and uh, find the Windows Explorer thing for these and make it so that it shows icon and notifications at all times. That might be helpful for you. Um, but yeah, anyway, sticky keys, set this up, and what sticky keys does is makes it so when you press a key, a modifier key, it will stay active until you actually do an action. So uh, if I press control, then you'll see down here, it's highlighted the control thingy and it will be active until I do an action. So I right clicked there just out of habit. If I do control click, I'm, I don't know if there's any control actions I can actually demonstrate, but I promise that it does actually make control happen even if you're not pressing and holding control. And if you press control twice, then it will make control active all the time. So now I'm not pressing my control key at all, and the mouse is still moving uh, those set number of pixel distances that we want for making things in RuneScape just that little bit easier. So this is a very helpful thing to have, so you don't have to have control held down at all times. And if you want to disable control being held down, you just press control key again, and it will turn it off. Uh, make sure that you don't you know, go over to your browser and forget to turn off your control and start typing and uh, do a million keyboard shortcuts and like make your computer explode or anything like that because it probably will happen. Uh, but keep that in mind. It is kind of annoying to have to constantly toggle it on and off, but it's useful to have in RuneScape. The other downsides of it is that you can't rotate your camera uh, with the mouse wheel in RuneScape or type or uh, or use the escape key to close the bank if you have control active. Um, you will notice that I have some AHK scripts active, despite the fact that AHK is illegal for most things, but the only thing I'm actually using AHK for uh, is, well, you'll see that I have this little screen marker here where my essence is in my bank, and I also have this little lap timer here thing. Uh, those are just, I mean, they're external from RuneScape itself. There's the same thing that like third-party clients could do, so I figured since it's not actually sending mouse actions to the client, then it's probably acceptable to use AHK for that as opposed to like Googling a timer and using that instead, or Googling a screen marker program and using that instead. Um, but I also have it set in my AHK script. I can just show the script that I have active um, to control and uh, one, the one key to send escape. So that when I have control held down, I can still use escape properly and I have it remapped to one. And then also I have uh, the mouse button, that, this is the middle mouse button, I have it mapped so that when I press control plus the middle mouse button, you'll just do the middle mouse button thing, uh, which is very useful because otherwise I wouldn't be able to rotate my camera. Um, I mean, I hope that's not bannable, but you never really know, but I think that would be a little bit silly if it was bannable since I think that kind of falls under the remapping category, which they said it was okay. And if you're wondering, the other stuff in here is just, uh, running other script like when I when I double click my rc.ahk script it will automatically run my lap timer which is the one I showed you in bank one is my uh, is my screen marker right here I do also have it so I, when I press control r it will resize my client but that's only for default client I'm using conduit right now so that doesn't even do anything for me right now but if I have the vanilla client you remember how it loads uh, like not the right size for fixed, you have to resize it every time. So I just made a little shortcut that will uh, resize it. But yeah, AHK isn't actually doing isn't actually like doing any mouse inputs. It's just doing remaps. So that that's how you can get around some of the annoyances of uh, mouse keys and still be using mouse keys for the actual mouse actions. One other thing that you might want to set up uh, is a thing in here called filter keys. Um, I don't have filter keys turned on right now, but it might be useful. Uh, the a problem that I had when I first started using mouse keys recently was uh, if I had the control held down and I pressed one of the mouse movement keys, it would like send the input twice or three times if I held it down for more than like a millisecond, which was really annoying because like I'd try to go like this and it would go down twice as far, and that was annoying. So uh, what filter keys does is it makes it so that uh, if you like the, it puts a certain amount of delay between inputs uh, so that this won't happen. And that's with the repeat keys and slow keys. 
So just pause the video here if you want to set that up and copy the settings I have here and then pause the video here also and make sure you set up the slow uh, repeat and slow keys to these settings and that should be good for uh, solving that problem. It's weird because I had to do that the first time I used mouse keys, but since then I've had it turned off and it's been completely fine. So I have no idea why that is, but yeah, mouse keys is a bit weird. And the last thing that might be useful is that uh, is that you can remap uh, keys to your numpad so that you don't necessarily have to use your numpad because like if you're right-handed and you're used to mostly having your left hand on the left side of your keyboard and you know resting in a certain position, then you have to cross your like arm all the way over your body to the far right side of your keyboard to use the numpad. It might be somewhat uncomfortable and the mods have said that it's acceptable to use programs to remap other keys in your keyboard to the numpad keys, which might be a little bit more comfortable for you. And that's what I myself have done. So there's a lot of different options and a lot of different programs and stuff that allow you to remap keys on your keyboard. Um, AHK obviously can do that, but for some reason, if you try to, like, if you just like make a new uh, AHK script, call it whatever, and like map, um, like the standard way of mapping an AHK is just to do like key colon colon action. So if I try to do R to numpad, <clears throat> to numpad five, and I save this and I run it, um, if I press the R key, it will just send five, even though I have mouse keys active and five should be a left click. So using AHK to remap mouse keys doesn't work for whatever reason. So uh, you'll have to use something other than that. Um, the program that I'm using to, I have to exit this also, goodbye. Uh, the program that I'm using to remap that does work is called Corsair Utility Engine which is a software that come or that is used to control my keyboard because I have a Corsair keyboard. Um, it's kind of a confusing software to use, so I'm not gonna get into it too much, but if you have a Corsair keyboard, you should be able to use Corsair Utility Engine, and I have it set so that I can press a key to toggle between my main uh, normal keyboard, which is, I'm using this key for mode switching to the mouse keys setup that I have. And in my mouse keys setup, I have the two, three, and four keys over here mapped to the numpad keys. And using this software to map them does work. So I have uh, the four key mapped to keypad five, which is left click. I have the three key mapped to keypad two down, which is moving the mouse down. And the two key to keypad three, which is moving the mouse diagonally down. The reason for this is because uh, if I show my client here, I can Press, I can press just the two keys to easily empty my pouches like this. I'm pressing right click with my mouse and then two, five, right click with my mouse, two, five. And then if I want to withdraw essence, then I press uh, right click and then I can press three, two, five, uh, or on my keyboard, two, three, four, to basically get the equivalent of multiple drop down links. Uh, if you tried to map two keys to the two key, so like, so that you'd be pr basically pressing that key twice, but you could press two separate keys, then you could do that also, but it's a little bit slower. Um, so I just find it's really easy to do it this way. And then uh, you'll notice I just have the one key mapped to one, but since I have my HK script active that maps control one to escape, now if I press my one key, it works as escape. But like if I press my escape key right now, or sorry, that's my, that's not escape. If I press escape with control active, it will open up this, which is not what I want. So yeah, to be able to use that, you have to do some kind of mapping. So if you don't have a Corsair keyboard, then there are other programs that will work. Uh, I will look around and link some of them in the description. The one that I've heard people talk about the most is sharp keys. And sharp keys will actually modify regist uh, register keys on your keyboard so that uh, keys will be re remapped that way. Uh, the downside of it is that I think you have to do like a reboot every time you remap your keys and you can't have easy mode switching like I do with, you know, just being able to press a key to switch between being able to do one, two, three, four, or, you know, the mouse actions that I was talking about. Um, there probably are other softwares out there. I would suggest like going to Google and searching uh, key remapping if you are really wanting to remap, remap your keys and not use the numpad. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything. This is exactly how I have my mouse keys set up. And as far as I can tell, it's completely within the rules. They've said that using mouse keys is fine and using other programs just to remap keys is also fine. So that's all I've been doing. And it works pretty well to accomplish pretty much the same things that I was doing before with AHK. So 
yeah, hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. If you have any more questions, let me know. Hopefully I didn't miss anything too important. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty annoying and complicated process to get it all set up. So hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys all later.